Indianapolis welcomed in a first of its kind event this Labor Day. It celebrates Hoosier artists by showcasing their work. News 8's David Williams takes us to the South Side for a festival with the tagline, By Artists for Indy. There are dozens of works of art and more than 70 artists that are from right here in Indy. This is the Indy Arts Fest. Easy Underwood has done artwork his whole life, but he's been a professional artist for the last five years. My artwork is what kept me going, so I felt like that was what was given to me, and now I want to give it to other people. He's one of several artists at today's event and says Indianapolis has opened its heart to art. And Indie Fest has given a lot of brand new artists that I've always had talent, has always been here, but the opportunity to be seen has been rare. So that's what I really appreciate about uh, the fest this year. Indie Arts Fest organizer Coda Witzkin says think of this as a mash between a music and mural festival. Our goal was to highlight all the best kinds of artists of indie and highlight how they deserved fair pay opportunities. Um, indie creatives are actually paid less than half the national average. So we're really trying to show indie what we've got from body painting to music to obviously murals and graffiti. There were several food trucks. There's a mural guests can draw on and help with. There's even a junk car for people to paint. Inside or outside, whatever they want. We have some spray paint and they just go nuts. This festival means a lot to oil painter and muralist Megan Jefferson. It's amazing to see how Indianapolis has really embraced artists lately. Well, I just hope that people get a splash of beauty and joy from my work. Honestly, it's my pleasure to create a splash of color that brings a smile to people's face. And when I can do that, my work here is done. A hip hop artist, Underwood, hopes people get something from his work too. Too. Hopefully when they see my artwork, what they see is the samples of my culture that I bring together to create a cohesive piece that inspires them to less worry about the licensing and things that goes on behind the courtroom. I'm more about just getting their ideas out there for people to see. Event organizers tell me the plan is to host another event next year around this time. In Indianapolis, I'm David Williams, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.